Watching Sight Sounds Flavors on YouTube, SightSoundsFlavors.com, ExploringKentucky.com. We're here in Carlisle, Nicholas County, Kentucky. This is the county seat. Carlisle was founded in 1816. It's approximately halfway between Lexington and Maisel. And the population as of the 2020 census is around 2100. So I'm going to go ahead and show you around town here. And I got a sneak peek on Wikipedia and uh, really kind of fell in love with it, to tell you the truth. Uh, over here you can see the water tower. See if you can see it. The sun's right in our face, so. Got some steps here. We're going to take the ramp up. Got Carlisle Drug there. Got uh, herbal stuff. Business owners always get a kick when I uh, include their businesses on my videos. I like the uh, Carlisle Drug sign very much. And then uh, this looks like the entrance. No, this. I thought this was like a. It is. It is. It is a door, and there may be lost up here. And uh, there's the YMCA. All right. And uh, the courthouse is very beautiful here. We're going to be walking up there in a little bit. We got Dick's on Main home cooking. They look to be pretty full. Anybody eat there? Let me know how the food is. I'm dieting, so I can smell good food. I just can't eat it. There's a Rebecca's Cut Above. They got uh, the Russell, excuse me, the Bustle Williams Law Firm, BW Law, KY.com. Here's another look at the courthouse. Courthouse kind of has a little bit of a church feel to it. Um, got a big piece of artillery there. We are open. What is this? J and J. Interesting. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's apparel. Okay. A lot of steps here, guys. You want to watch where you're walking. One, two, three, four, five, six, and goes down here look at that there's an insurance group there this building looks pretty old gonna keep walking around now what I'm gonna start doing too is I'm gonna start taking still shots and releasing those as well as the videos usually what I'll do is I'll release a photo of myself in front of something and that'll promote the video but I don't usually do still images so Easy Riders Pizza. Got the POW flag there. Interesting. You got the Kentucky Doll and Toy Museum. A historical Society over here. And we're walking downhill, so it feels good. It's not going to feel so good when we come back up, though. Uh, this here is the Neal Building named after Eugene and Dorothy Neal, charter members and benefactors, Nicholas County Historical Society. And down this way, we're not gonna go all the way down because uh, I don't wanna come back uphill, but we got uh, this is a furniture store. I'm not sure what that is. Let's go see if we got any uh, indication. It's very busy here. And here's another look at uh, downtown Carlisle. So it was built by Green Cheatham 
but I it doesn't really say what it is and it doesn't look like it's open I mean it may be open but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna see and then you got like the elevated sidewalk here you don't have it on this side so much there's only a couple little steps but over here you got it and uh, got some folks speeding into downtown there One, two, three steps up. This looks like it could be a home. Oh, right. Well, no, it's a business. Eight technologies, it looks like. Got some little dolls here. We got uh, Jerry's Barber Shop. More steps. Let's climb these steps here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. This is the Southern Foundry Company of Owensboro, Kentucky. Interesting. We are nowhere near Owensboro, but that's where the company's based out of. Here's another look at the courthouse. And we'll be going on the uh, courthouse grounds, but first we're going to walk the full 360, just so you can see everything. We're going uphill now, so my breathing is not quite as uh, excited as I was earlier when we're walking downhill. I lost a little bit of my giddy up there, but I'll be coming back soon because at some point we're going to level out. This is the Mercury building. And I'm thinking some of these may be bed and breakfasts, possibly. They, they could be lodging houses, but I, I don't think so. They look a little too uh, fancy to be, uh, you know, like um, like motel-type lodging houses. These look like bed and breakfasts or like higher-end apartment buildings. So... Oh gosh. I do an hour of cardio every day at Planet. I do like the 15 incline, which is pretty high up, but these hills are. So this is the Carlisle Christian Church. Oh. That's very nice. And the sun is definitely out today. Uh, this here is the First Baptist Church. Looks like there's a police department there. That's another side of the courthouse. Oh. Walk around. Good morning. I think I'm walking in the parking lot. How's it going? This here is the police department and city hall. If you guys go online, my site's exploringkentucky.com. Oh, yep. Yeah. You got like a, a monument here of sorts. Out of it. This is looks like a tomb of some sort. And there's the other side of the courthouse. And they're nice enough. You gotta always, you know, law enforcement they, they take a lot of abuse. And uh, there's a group of them outside. And there's like some guy with a video camera. So you know. I try to break the silence, say hello, give them the website name, you know, they don't know who I am, they don't know what I'm all about, so, you know, I heard them off in the background, they're just working, so this here is the Nicholas County Library, and it looks like they have like an adult education, and then they've got like this uh, 
judicial center looking thing over here. Well, this awning thing, I think. That's the judicial center there. I'm, I, uh, I know a lot of the First Amendment auditors, they kind of like are nasty to the cops and I don't really quite get that, but I understand what they're doing. Like they're, they're, it's the same thing as the Second Amendment open carry, right? Like they're flexing their rights. Um, it makes sense, but, and they don't, I know they don't have to identify. I totally understand like their whole thing, but that's not what I'm doing. So, again, I try not to walk on the grass, but there isn't really like a sidewalk that leads out to here. So you got the nice clock tower up there. I don't know why this courthouse makes me think of a church. I think it's because it's like narrow, sort of. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to, to explain. Um, I really have to get like a exploringkentucky.com t-shirt or something. County namesake. Okay, so George Nicholas lived from 1743 to 99, born in Virginia, colonel during the Revolutionary War, zealous advocate of Virginia adoption of federal constitution 1788, came to Kentucky in 1790, quote unquote, brightest luminary in Kentucky, first constitutional convention, first attorney general of the state, first Transylvania law professor, extensive landholder, invested in cloth manufacture, iron furnace. Interesting. And then over here we got Dr. Charles W. Mathers. This Nicholas County native served as county judge, state rep, 1888 to 1890, and state senator in 1908. He was a medical doctor, extensive landowner, agriculturist, president of Farmers Bank of Carlisle, and a director of Exchange Bank of Millersburg. I don't know where Millersburg is. Probably close to here, I'd imagine. I don't know. Dr. Mathers is buried in the Carlisle Cemetery. Now, this gun over here, I have no idea what this is, but this is probably like a like a 125 millimeter cannon or something. This this thing looks like it could pulverize a tank. I mean, could you imagine if a tank took a direct hit from this thing? Forget about it. Game over. So, and uh, artillery is not really used all that much anymore. Um, you look at what we did like in the in the war in Iraq Afghanistan it's pretty much air power but I think the um, the Ukrainian Russian war right now you actually do see a lot of artillery you see a lot of everything they're they're fighting to protect the country so um, but yeah that flag up there is is interesting it's uh it looks like it probably lights up um, and then over here there's like a monument to uh yeah world war one which is sometimes known as a great war nothing great about it but uh the korean conflict now this is interesting this is very very interesting because usually the word conflict you'll see for vietnam this is very interesting here korean conflict was actually the korean war the Vietnam War was actually a police action or a conflict. So it's interesting that they, they, they call the Korean theater a conflict and they call the Vietnam conflict a war. But, but the Vietnam was definitely a war. We lost 58,000 dead and over 100,000 wounded. That, there's, that's a war. But it's just, it's, I've never seen it written as this. I've never seen any historical reference to the Korean War as the Korean conflict. I've never, ever seen that before. And then you got World War II. So... That's very interesting. I think we got everything. They've got this little statue here, which kind of looks like the Statue of Liberty. It, it is the Statue of Liberty. Um, she's missing her... Uh, God, I hope nobody defaced this. But it looks like she's missing her, her right hand. But, but it, it may be intentionally done that way. Again, I don't think so. But who knows? If somebody defaced that, I hope you get hit by a train, figuratively speaking. I have zero sympathy for vandals and, and, and people like that but or it might have just fallen off who knows i don't know but i did say figuratively speaking so that means i don't really mean it in any event i hope you enjoyed for sight sounds flavors sight sounds flavors.com exploringkentucky.com here in carlisle 
Nicholas County, Kentucky. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, feel free to copy and paste the URL of this video to your social media feeds. Thanks again.